Hey YouTube, today I want to talk about my uh, emergency uh, battery backup system. It's uh, uh, so when the power goes out, uh, it gives me a little bit of uh, juice to run. With uh, I mean, I can probably run this thing the whole night without having to fire up my generators. But uh, these three batteries, uh, three of those are deep cycle marine batteries, which were given to me. They're like recycled batteries, and I. Uh, fixed them via desulfation. Um, you can see some of my other videos how I fix batteries via desulfation. But uh, So I have three, uh, on the ones on the, the left are the marine batteries um, and the one on the right just next to the car battery that I have. But uh, yeah, I keep this as a, I'd actually use this here at night. They were uh, replacing the telephone pole and they shut the power off and uh, I, uh, I was actually able to run my TV off this thing and uh, I didn't really I mean, I could actually run my refrigerator on this thing um, if I put the refrigerator on totally low. Um, you know, just start when the refrigerator starts its compressor up. That's when you're going to have the most draw, and that's kind of the most issue. But uh, the three batteries can definitely fire the refrigerator. It just it depends on the inverter that you have. But uh, yeah, so I mean, my first test was the other day when they replaced that telephone pole and it worked fine. I mean, I was watching TV and uh, I was totally fine. I mean, they they took the uh, power out around like eight o'clock at night and. They weren't, they weren't back up until 6 in the morning, so, yeah, I mean, I was totally fine, but, uh, this is really just in case, you know, you know, even though I do actually have generators, I'll show you in a couple seconds, that, uh, I'll fire up in case I have to, or need to, but lots of times, man, you don't want to run a generator. I mean, generators generate noise, and they also generate attention. So, I mean, if you want to run silent and quiet, you know, this is how I do it, so, let me show you what, uh, what's going on here, so, uh, let me pull this camera off here, so... What I have here is, as you can see, I have two backup generators. I have a, I have other videos that did the Yamahas on there, you know, the reviews on these things. But the Yamaha generator, it's a thousand, uh, thousand watt. Then I have the Honda 500. But uh, let me show you this set real quick. So one of the things I do is, um, it's it's always charging. So I, I always have this thing plugged in. And I have a, uh, it's a. Uh, Battery Minder uh, Model uh, 2012, I guess it's a yeah, it's a, it's a pretty small uh, charger. But the reason why I got it is because it keeps always is desulfating in the background. So right now it's in a float state. You can see that it's, it's fully charged 100%. But as it's floating, it's throwing a desulfation, you know, and so it's trying to break that uh, sulfation off the lead plates. Uh, what's funny? These batteries were given to me. Um, and the guy was like, he got new batteries, and these were dead, you know, and uh, so I grabbed them, and, uh, you know, I ran them on my desulfator for a while, and they're fine. I load tested them with my load tester, and you can see my load tester in other videos, too, and uh, they work perfectly fine. So, um, besides that, I also, when I, when I go camping, you know, once a year, I actually, I run a projector, like a 12-volt projector, like an overhead projector. We watch movies all, all weekend long, and, you know, at the campsite, and this thing runs the radio, and, um... So yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's cool having these little battery things, but you know, that way you don't have to run the generator and have all that noise going on all the time. I mean, even though the generator is super quiet, but still, I mean, silence is way better. Um, but let me show you some of the things you can do with this this battery backup thing here. Um, so what you have here, this is this is what I use. Um, so when the power goes out, this is actually this is a uh, 1200 watt inverter, and basically I just basically pop those leads over and hook it up. But well, I forgot to tell you, but the batteries are actually uh, in um, parallel mode, so it's just basically one big 12 volt battery. They're not in a series, so it's uh, just one basically one big 12 volt battery with a lot of capacity. Um, a few different things you can do with the this type of setup, if, or emergency setup, is um, besides that, I mean, I can run my refrigerator, refrigerator if I have to, you know, just to keep it cool. You know, turn the refrigerator all the way to the very lowest, and uh, I can run the refrigerator. I can charge my cell phones, uh, run my radio equipment, you know, I can hook up this little 12 volt car adapter to it, you know, you know, charge cell phones, um, I can, uh, you know, I can run, a, I mean, extra thing, I can run a CB radio if I have to, you know, I have a, also like a, I also have a VHF Marine uh, boat radio in there too, but, uh, Plus, I mean, I also have ham radios. So if you see my other videos, I also have a lot of ham radio stuff. So, um, 
Yeah, I mean, this is definitely not the, not a great setup, but you know, three these three batteries would, would keep me going for a while, you know. And I mean, I did do a true test on it, and it works. So, um, I mean, I was able to run the thing for eight hours. I watched the LCD. It was a forty-inch uh, Samsung LCD TV. Actually, I repaired that that same TV in the in a different video, the inverter board. I uh, not the inverter board, certainly the power supply. And uh, that I was watching that TV for for. Uh, five, four or five hours. I left it on overnight and it was still running. And uh, so I know, I definitely know it can power a TV all night long. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure how long it would run a refrigerator. But so yeah, if you're thinking about doing a setup like this, it's actually great and it works and it's quiet too. So no generator noise and nobody knows I have a generator. So I actually have power and no generator. But by, by the way, also a suggestion is that. Um, if you are going to be using this, you know, long term or whatever, let's say it's like on and off, or you have a lot of power outages, get, get LED lights because uh, you know, in, in, the, in the cancet light or in the cancet, I can't, I can't pronounce that, but the uh, like either a, a neon light, those things suck down kind of a lot of juice. So if you can get LED lights, those things last forever and they hardly use any juice whatsoever. So um, go back a little bit. Yeah, it's a cool setup. Yeah, I got the batteries for free, so it wasn't. Uh, you know, all those batteries are free, and I mean, all I do, I bought that that battery miner thing, and uh, pretty cool. So, let me know if you have any questions.